and gentlemen. Here we go into race three. We've got Genji, Jello, Andy, Rye, Lip, Charlie, Shredder, Sticks, Plant, Bobby, Grumps, Flex, Freebie, Stangman, Dimes, in that order for starting order. And of course, we have myself in my beautiful Ford Mustang on the spectates. All right, here we go. Countdown three, two, one, loading in. This is gonna be very interesting to see. We're gonna go on board with Genji for the very start of this race. Hopefully he can keep that Impala down. Having a barge though on the pole position will prove interesting. Let's see how many people we can get can get by Genji. Genji though gonna be doing his best to hold everybody off. And here we go, we are on board with Genji going to the game cameras. <clears throat> Looks like Jello might be able to make that pass up the inside. Rai already gained a position. Rai and his Porsche, we already know he is quick. Watching Genji all the way through. Nice breaking line up into corner one. Looks like Rai's gonna be around the outside of Jello. Rai already able to make that pass up in the first. Rai's gonna be able to run away with it. And he's struggling to get that second place with that BMW lacking a little bit of power. Looks like Genji up the inside of Rai. Rai able to hold it down with the better line. Rai is not gonna be able to run away with this. We're gonna see what happens though, because we know Diamond Free, I'm sorry, Dai and Flex are both gonna be running up on him right now. Looks like Genji though getting passed up, unfortunately, and Power proving to be difficult. The Cortina Jello getting a little bit of a bump here. Charlie capitalizing that on the outside with the Boss Mustang. Shredder on the left side of Jello and Genji hoping to see it work. Flex is going to have to fall back ever so slightly. Dimes already making his way back up to the front of the pack. Flex a little bit of a bump, a little bit of a commotion going into the last corner. This is not going to bode well for Flex. We're going to be pushing our way up. We're going to real quick swap up to second position here. Unfortunately, Genji falling all the way back into what seems to be 10th with all the power though to push it back. Into the first corner though, we have Rai pushing out away. Dimes making his position all the way up into lap two. Ooh boy, Flex getting slammed into freebie. Dimes getting bumped around too by Shredder. Big racing incident going into corner one. Unfortunately, we cannot catch what happened with Flex, but maybe we'll have to go back and review that at the end of the race. Dimes now pushing, trying to catch up to Shredder. Shredder doing his best to hold off the rest of the crowd. Charlie swinging back and forth with the boss way back there, as we can see. Dimes, though, made it past Grumps. Grumps, we already know, is fast in the corners, but Dimes is going to hold him off all the way through. Dimes is then going to use his power to get around Shredder onto lap three down the main straightaway. We're going to see what happens with Dimes with that late braking, using that big power slide of that car to make it work. Pushing hard, you can see it kick out ever so slightly. Shredder with a little bit, actually a lot of bit of oversteer coming out of that. Dimes now on the hammer, gonna be passing up, passing up Shredder. We're gonna fall back. Looks like we have Rye, Dimes, and Shredder going in with uh, PSUK Grumps following suit. We're gonna fall back going to fifth. We're gonna go back to the second pack here. We are now on board with Sticks. Sticks are gonna be holding off Bob, Plant, and Genji. Genji somehow making it work with the Impala, holding off some of the field though. What happens to everybody though? We have Plant and Bobby a little bit of bumping up there. See who can chase down Sticks the most. A little bit of tire squeal. Stangman in the, the mix as well, getting held up. Bobby trying to push through on Plant. Plant doing his best to hold on to this though. We are on board with Sticks as he goes down into the left hand sweeper onto the second to last straightaway. Gonna be going up to the last corner as well. And we're gonna real quickly flip over to Freebie. Freebie had just made the pass on Bobby and Plant. Stangman coming from the inside that late break and locking off ever so slightly up on the inside of Freebie. Bobby on the outside as well. Plant right there. Bobby, Stangman, Freebie, three wide onto the straightaway. Who's going to have the power to make it stick? Looks like Bobby on the outside. Freebie right there with them. Looks like they have very equal power. Genji, though, coming up strong with the Impala. Stangman cutting to the inside very, very quickly. It's going to be tight. Three, four wide into the first corner. Stangman making the, making the pass all the way through. Bobby still holding off Stangman in an impressive feat of handling. Looks like Bobby ended up turning on to Stangman there. A little bit of sideways action from the both of them. Holding it down and holding it together though. This is an amazing fourth lap. Bobby Stangman's going nose to tail all the way through. Plant almost hitting the tire barrier on the inside of Freebie. Charlie T trying to chase them down as well. Who is going to make the pass here and who's going to make it stick? We have Charlie cutting up the inside of Plant. Who's going to make it happen? Genji coming to the outside of him as well. Genji's going to be using the straightaway once again to gain those positions back. Can he hold on to them? Flex also right there, right behind Genji. We have Stangman and Bobby chasing each other down the front straight. Freebie leading Plant, Charlie, Genji, and Flex in that order. Who's going to be able to make their power stick to the ground? Looks like Genji making the passes all the way up. Will he be able to get up to Freebie by the time that the first quarter comes up? It is going to be close. Genji, though, on the brakes hard. Freebie shutting the door. Genji right there with that big pink boat trying to make it work. 
Play by sideways action. Plant Charlie T onto the outside. Flex making the position up on Charlie. Flex trying to follow up on Plant. Plant on Genji. Genji's trying to hold on to it. He's sideways. Plant made the pass on to Genji, which is very nice. We're still following along with Freebie. Stayman and Bobby going at it too up on the front. Stayman trying to make the pass. Will he make it stick? We already know Bobby has the, the better straight line speed. Bobby's going to have to get a good run up on Stangman here, possibly cut to the inside. As we flip back, Plant looks like he has made it work on Charlie. They're going to hold it down. Bobby, though, right there, freebie to the inside. Look at the touch on Bobby, making room. He is saying, excuse me, it is my time to shine. Freebie, Bobby, Stangman, three wide. We already know that Freebie and Bobby have the straight line speed to match each other. But Stangman, though, seems to have gotten quite the run in his Alpine, trying to push as hard as he can to make it work. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but it looks like Freebie might actually get this into the first corner. Stangman, Bobby, right up on side. Plant locked up the wheels. Able to get to the inside of Bobby. A little bit of contact from Plant to Bobby. Charlie trying to put everything to the ground, but running a little bit wide. Stangman right up on Freebie's bumper. Stangman with the inside move. Contact made. Robin is racing. Stangman now on the outside. Will he have enough grip to hold this? If he gets the next inside, it might be all over for Freebie. And he is going to make it stick. He's a little sideways. Lost the momentum. It's going to come down to the straightaways once again. Bobby, Plant, and Charlie within a tenth of a second of each other. Freebie, Stangman, Bobby as well. Bobby's trying to make the pass up on Stangman right now. Stangman taking a very safe and outside line, holding that momentum down, not getting any contact at all. Plant a little bit into the back of Bobby. Stangman, though, might be in trouble. We have two fast cars right behind him. Will he be able to hold on to this down the straightaway? Bobby, though, looks like he doesn't have anything to answer for Freebie. Freebie, unfortunately, not able to make it stick. We're going to go on board with Stangman here and watch him as he goes into the S's. It's so on the outside of Bobby. He's going to dive in. Bobby, though, getting over on his front bumper. Charlie now right up on Stangman. Stangman cutting to the inside of Bobby. Is he going to be able to make this stick going into corner one? I'm sorry, corner two. A little bit of contact there on Bobby. They're keeping it as clean as possible, though. Stangman stuck again on the outside. Will he be able to make the curve corner here and keep his momentum? Looking like he got caught up with Bobby, lost the momentum. Unfortunately, he's going to lose the position. Will Plant and Charlie T capitalize on this? This is what we need to know. As we currently sit, we have a new... Uh, we actually have Dimes catching up with Rye. We're going to have to flip over to the first and second battle here in just a moment. Seeing what happens here. Plant, though, makes the pass on Bobby Freebie. Trying to run away from Plant and same man now. We are very quickly going to have to switch back up to first position as we have a new leader, ladies and gentlemen. Dimes has made the pass up on Rye. Right now, struggling to keep up though, that Porsche, very hard to get out of the corners, but very good in the corners. We're gonna see what happens though. The understeer from the Porsche might be something a little bit better to have over the dart. The dart, as we can see, losing time and losing distance through the corners. It's really gonna come down to who has the momentum coming out of these, these next two corners. The left-hand sweeper is not a challenge for these two, but this hairpin here is gonna prove what Rai can really do with that Porsche. If he pushes hard enough, he may just be able to take this back. Hard on the brakes to the inside, it looks to see him like Dime might have the better run out of this. Rye, unfortunately, getting gap, getting gap. Shredder, though, looks to be catching Rye almost in a way. All right, so it looks like Dimes has been able to take the first position. We're going to flip back to our battle back in 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth. Looks like Freebie now getting chased down by Bobby. Stangman and Charlie now going at it as well. Interesting to see what happens here. I'm gonna go back though, hop in with Enter Stangman here in that Alpine. He's gonna have to hold off Charlie, he's gonna have to hold off Zip Plan if he wants to get anywhere near the top 10. He's currently in eighth. We have Tent sitting right there though. Charlie at the inside of Stangman, a little bit of contact, and Alpine is in a dangerous spot considering how heavy that Mustang is. Though Stangman though, very consistent all day through these S's. Very impressive to see what he actually can do here. Charlie though getting a little bit squirrely. Plant holding on to the best can. Plant trying to capitalize on this. Charlie getting a little bit back over. Plant getting pushed to the outside. Looks like Stangman might actually have the ability to hold on to this. We're gonna go back even further and check on our 12th through 15th battle here. We have Genji, Andy, and Lip and Jello going almost nose to nose with those back three, 13th and 15th. Genji, though, getting the run out with this Impala. We know that the Impala struggles through the corners, but through the straightaways, it has nothing but power. Andy, Lip, and I believe that is, I can't see, unfortunately, Genji's too fast. Andy and all of them are pushing the hard to catch back up. We're gonna hop on board with Andy here. The BMW of Andy trying to chase down Genji through the corners, but Lip and Jello right there to answer for it each and every time as they're within two tenths of a second. It's just eight second of each other. Looks like we have a battle to cover though for fourth and fifth. If we go back up to Grumps, we have Grumps and Sticks. Where did Sticks come from? 
Styx all of a sudden able to get back up into the fifth position. We have lost track of him for just a moment. Very impressed though to see what's happening. Looks like Shredder was able to make his way up in the third. Six of getting the pass on Grump. Will he be able to make it stick? Styx right now, two, or 0.2 seconds out in front. Freebie though, point, uh, 7.5 seconds back. So these two have all the time in the world to do this battle and they can do it safely. We have somebody though out on the course, all the way out outside. Who is this and who could it be? Looks like Jello unfortunately may have wrecked out here and or disconnected. Very unfortunate, we hate to see it. But Grump sticks side by side into the S's once again. Sticks doing the best he can to hold on to it. Grump doing the best he can as well to chase him down. Sticks and that phobia has been very consistent through these corners all day. It is remarkable the amount of effort that he has put into holding down his fourth position. Now as we continue on, we have six. Freebie has continued to close the lead by a half second. I don't think it's going to be enough over the next five laps. Grumps into the inside of Styx. Will they have the momentum to pull through? Styx may have actually gotten a better line through there. Interesting to see what's going to happen with these two over the next lap. We're going to follow along with these guys for one lap, even if uh, Forza decides to try and die at some points. But we're going to continue on following. We're on board with Grumps. Six, we're going to see if he can hold off Grumps with these S's. They both look pretty equal. Grumps, though, has the slight advantage under breaking and power over Styx. This is all Six to lose, though. He has nothing but corners ahead of him for the next three corners. As long as he can make it hold and stick, he should be able to run away from Grumps right now, as we're seeing. Gaining 10 feet at a time for each corner sticks. Very clean and tidy line into the next S corner with this curved left-hander. This is always where it kills everyone. Grumps having to run a little bit wider than normal sticks, though, doing the same exact thing. Grumps may not have the power to actually regain this position back from sticks. The round three is proven to be very interesting, although it looks like the groups have already been made. First, second, third, already pretty much all but confirmed at this point. Fourth and fifth or sixth and Grumps, they're going to be chasing each other down, but it looks like Sticks able to make the momentum stick. Grumps trying to pass him up every single lap and not able to make it stick. Very, very frustrating to see that happen. We're going to hop on with Freebie now. We have Bobby chasing him. Stangman, though, unfortunately not able to gain his position back from Bobby from earlier. It's going to be interesting as we see these guys go into the S's. We know the Camaro is very, very hard to chase down once it's on the straightaway. But Stangman and Bobby proving that those lighter cars are better under braking, closing the gap almost all but entirely. Bobby Stangman, Stangman right there on Bobby trying to make the pass stick. Once again, cutting the inside, backing off though ever so slightly. Bobby Stangman really just trying to make it work right now to get back up to Freebie. They might be trying to run a little bit cleaner. Oh, what a big bump and a big mistake by Freebie touching the tires on the inside. Stangman able, able to capitalize. Bobby unfortunately getting caught up behind him. Stangman looking to be the outside. Lost the position though due to the momentum from Bobby and Freebie. Although I don't think it's going to matter quite much because over the next couple laps, and even on the straightaway, if Stangman can make this work, he might have the pass on Bobby. Stangman with a big rush of momentum past Bobby right now. Right now, trying to chase down Freebie. Freebie's going to have to do everything in his power just to make it work. We have two laps left, ladies and gentlemen. We are in lap 14 of 16 of race three. We have Stangman Bobby trying to chase down Freebie. Stangman hard on the brakes, trying to get to the inside of Freebie. Will he make a stick? He's alongside. It's going to be close going into these S's. Stangman, though, knows this is not a good position for him unless he can make the full pass here. Bumps the Camaro, not a problem for the Camaro, though. We all know the thing weighs a ton. Stangman on the outside, once again, he's going to have to take the slower line. Bobby trying to capitalize on the inside. Stangman, though, might be able to take the line away from Freebie. Freebie making it work, though. He's going to challenge Stangman all the way down into this last corner down to the straightaway. Bobby on the inside, they're going to go three wide into the last corner. Everybody get ready, two wide now. Freebie able to make it work. Bobby on the inside on Freebie. Stangman trying to do the over-under on both of them. Plant getting up into the mix. These boys just went almost four wide into the last corner. Now three wide on the straightaway, following Stangman and Freebie. This is some impressive racing. Bobby unfortunately lost the momentum. Charlie able to capitalize. Same thing with Plant. Stangman though, within striking distance on these last two laps, who is going to be able to seal this fifth position? We already know first through fourth, pretty much all covered. Everybody has a gap on them. First through fourth goes as follows. They have dimes, ride, shredder, and sticks. But we need to watch out for this group right here. We have Fry, I'm sorry, excuse me, we have Freebie, Stangman, Bobby, Charlie, Flex, and Plant, all within a half second of each other. Plant's been charging hard all race. 
Stangman though charging as hard as he can. He's gonna try and get this fifth position. We might see some aggressive maneuvers here, everybody. Everybody get ready for this last lap coming up. We're gonna go on board with Stangman. See if we can watch him make the pass. Oh, and a big slide, a big mistake from Stangman. That is not what you like to see. Freebie unfortunately catching him. <coughs> Excuse me. Stangman falling all the way back into 10th. Lost five positions, you hate to see it. Though, we have Freebie now. He's gonna be the one to watch out for because now he has to hold off sixth and seventh because they are both quick through this. Onto the last lap, Stangman with a big dive to the inside, able to get it off on plant. Flex though, right within striking distance of Charlie and Bobby, and both of them within striking distance of Freebie. First through fourth, already seized up. We have Freebie, Bobby, Charlie, Flex, Stingman, and Plant within a second of each other now. Bobby's gonna be trying to make a dive up the inside. Charlie might even capitalize on this going into the last corner. This last corner is gonna be something to watch, everybody, so everybody get ready. We have Freebie with a little bit of a lead here on Bobby and Charlie. Bobby might want to make that dive to the inside. Flex diving to the inside. Charlie to the inside. Flex. Oh, he's cutting back. Stangman diving hard up the inside, trying to get the cut in. Contact made with Charlie. Will he make the seventh position pass? He will make it stick. Flex, though, is going to be going around the outside. He might have enough power to get behind. And to the line, it is Freebie, Bobby, Stangman, Flex, Charlie, and Plant. Great racing by all of these guys. Very impressive. Slight mistakes made here and there, but impressive nonetheless so we are going to real quick take a breather guys let me get my breathing and adrenaline back down to a normal rate i don't even know how i'm even coherent at this point and we're going to go ahead and take a second take a quick breather and i'm going to work on getting maybe dime freebie i'd like to say rye back in here as well as we might even get bobby in here actually we might get stangman in here so we're going to have to go through and talk to each one of these guys do a quick little interview Dime, though, with the three-piece. Congratulations to Dime on making it work. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. That Dodge Dart, something, something to be feared now in this series. Granted, this map and this track, it kind of suit to its strengths of it being a very, very, very um, acceleration-heavy vehicle, but at the same time, hard to handle. Hard to handle. So we have Dime with the first place across all three races. Congratulations to him. TCX boys, though, putting on a quick clinic, showing them everybody, showing everybody what they can do. But the black dart of Dime has made it work, and he has made it stick. gentlemen so that is the end of round one of the PSUK whole hogs and underdogs race round two I look forward to hoping to continue to do work with the PSUK guys as they are great all around I love working with them we are going to try and get dimes in here as well as freebie and rye and excellent racing ball involved here's the final race standings it goes dimes rye shredder sticks freebie stangman flex charlie Plant, Genji, Lip, Andy, Jello, and then Bobby, unfortunately, with a DNF.